Today we're looking at three death row inmates who have recently, or are awaiting, execution in 2022. There's a man who shot four people with his family, another who murdered an elderly couple with his sister, and another who killed two members of the same family. As usual, the content in this video may be distressing, so discretion is advised. And before we start, if you're interested in stories from the dark side of life, please remember to like and subscribe so you can be the first to hear about all the future videos posted by this channel. Okay, let's go. Gilbert Pastel was convicted for the murders of four people and was executed on February the 17th, 2022. In 2004, Gilbert's father Earl was riding his motorbike and was involved in a collision with another vehicle. The accident resulted in Earl suffering brain damage and having frequent seizures. Earl held the occupants of the other vehicle, James Alderson, Terry Smith, Donnie Swindle and Amy White, responsible for the accident, and his resentment towards them would eventually claim their lives. On the 30th of May 2005, a 19-year-old Gilbert Postel, accompanied by his father and older brother David, made his way to a trailer in which the four victims were inside. The three Postels pulled up outside the home, and Gilbert exited the vehicle armed with an AK-47 rifle. The occupants inside the trailer were ordered to get on their knees, and then Gilbert shot them using a total of 30 bullets. Terry Smith and Donnie Swindle died instantly. However, James Alderson and Amy Wright managed to survive the initial attack. They made a break for freedom, but Gilbert pursued them, shooting them both in the back as they tried to run to safety. James and Amy are killed. Gilbert is arrested and claimed that he had no recollection of the murders, having been high on meth in the days leading up to the attack. Gilbert had been addicted to meth since his early teenage years, having first been introduced to the drug by his father, who manufactured the drug himself. Although he had no memory of committing the crimes, Gilbert always accepted his guilt, offering his apologies to the families of those he murdered. An appeal for clemency in 2021 was rejected. On February the 17th, 2022, Gilbert was taken into the execution chamber in Oklahoma. Among the witnesses were media personnel who reported on the proceedings. When Gilbert arrived at his execution, he did so silently, only glancing three times at the witnesses present asked if he had any final words. He simply shook his head and remained silent. The lethal injection was administered just after 10am, and by 10.06am, Gilbert had lost consciousness, and one witness claimed to have seen a single tear fall down his cheek. Gilbert was finally declared dead at 10.14am. He was 35 years of age. Gilbert's death did not bring comfort to the families of the murdered victims. A statement from Donnie Swindle's sister, Shelley, read, His family grieves as our families have grieved for 17 years. But what happened to Gilbert's brother and father? Well, his brother is serving life without the possibility of parole and his father was never tried because he was deemed incompetent to stand trial due to his disabilities. He passed away in 2011. There was never any evidence that those murdered were responsible for the father's crash. Carmen Deck was convicted of murdering an elderly couple in 1996. He is still awaiting execution and this is scheduled to happen on May the 3rd, 2022. In June 1996, Carmen planned a burglary with his mother's boyfriend, Jim Bolike. The motive being Jim needed money to fund a trip for himself and Carmen's mother to Oklahoma. Deciding on a target, 
Carmen remembered the grandparents of one of his friends. He was once present at the property of James and Zalma Long when their grandson stole money from their safe. Carmen made the decision to rob their property and enlisted the help of his sister Tonya to carry out the plan. On the early evening of July the 8th, Carmen and Tonya arrive nearby to the Long's property. They decide to wait a few hours before going ahead with the robbery, as they would be less likely to be seen once darkness fell. At 9pm, they pull in to the Long's driveway. Carmen and Tonya knock on the front door, and Zelma answered. The pair used the ruse of needing help with directions, and offering her assistance, Zelma invited them into her home. At this point, Carmen unveiled a gun he'd been concealing and ordered James and Zelma to lie face down on their bed while he and Tonya looted the property. Later, Zelma was ordered to open the safe and handed over the contents, jewellery and papers. She then also gave the pair $200 that was inside her purse. Once again, James and Zelma were ordered to lie face down on the bed, and after some hesitancy on how to leave the scene, Carmen made the horrible decision. James and Zelma were to be killed. He shoots them, and then both he and Tonya leave the home, armed with the items they have stolen. Thankfully, they were both apprehended that same night. Earlier that morning, police had received a tip-off that Carmen and Tonya would commit a robbery. And having returned home after committing the murders, they are met by a police officer. The officer found a gun located under the front seat of the car. Carmen soon confessed to the killings and was first sentenced to death in 1998. After three appeals, the sentence was last upheld in January 2022. If everything goes as planned, he will be executed by lethal injection on May 3rd, 2022. Linda Davis, a daughter-in-law of the murdered couple's family, says she is pleased that the execution is going ahead. It's been a long time coming, she said. Carmen's sister Tonya is currently serving a 70-year life sentence. In 1992, Gary Sutton was convicted alongside his uncle for killing a brother and a sister. He is still awaiting execution, and this is scheduled to happen on October 6th, 2022. In February 1992, Sutton and his uncle James Dellinger were drinking with a friend, Tommy Griffin, at a bar in Maryville, Tennessee. At some point in the evening, Sutton and Dellinger got into an argument with Tommy, and the three of them left the bar, driving off in a dark blue Camaro car. At 7pm that evening, a police officer saw two men, who were not Sutton and Dellinger, standing beside a truck at the side of a road. Sitting in the truck bed was an intoxicated Tommy who told the officer his friends had put him out of the car. Due to his drunken state, getting more details from Tommy proved impossible for the officer and so he was arrested for public intoxication and taken to jail. That same evening, Sutton and Dellinger drove to Tommy's trailer and set it on fire. After doing this, they made their way to the jail and collect Tommy. As nobody is aware that they've set fire to Tommy's trailer, he is released to them by police. The three of them leave, and Tommy is never seen alive again. Tommy's failure to return home the next day alarmed his sister, Connie Branham. She asked Sutton and Dellinger for information in the hope of locating Tommy's whereabouts. That afternoon, the three of them, Sutton, Dellinger and Connie, visited the bar from the previous evening, and Connie is told by a bartender that Tommy was last seen leaving alongside Sutton and Dellinger. 
The three continue drinking at the bar until the early evening, at which point Connie leaves with Sutton and Dellinger. They offered Connie a ride so they could drive around and look for her brother. Connie accepted. She was never seen alive again. Two days later, Tommy's body was discovered in a swimming hole. He'd been shot twice in the back of the head with a shotgun. Connie was found four days later in the burnt-out remains of her car. The car abandoned in a wooded area. Shell casings were found at the two crime scenes, and these casings were linked to Sutton and Dellinger. Charged with the murders, they were initially given life sentences for Tommy's death. But after being found guilty of Connie's murder, both were handed death sentences. Sutton and Dellinger were due to be executed in 2020, but both executions were postponed due to COVID. Despite appeals, Sutton's death sentence is due to be carried out on October 6th, 2022. The method of death is yet to be determined, but it will be via either lethal injection, or should Sutton choose it, the electric chair. In the meantime, his family believe he is innocent and are working to have his conviction overturned. Those were three killers who have been or are awaiting execution in 2022. Do you have any thoughts about any of the stories? If so, please share them in the comments below. And if you liked this video, please remember to like and subscribe to be informed of any future videos posted by this channel. Until then.